best friend ever if you guys want to sponsor me. Just send me some product. I love you guys. I'm essentially putting every client that I have onto this brand uh, and they fall in love with it. Thank you.
feel like super blessed like literally i just finished my appointment and my client was telling like she realizes that my treatments are super intentional and so i just was like super appreciative because of my clients realized my intention and like before like when i first started and i came up with the idea on how i wanted to do the cadence of my treatments and my policy and procedures so on and so forth I, I felt like you know there's no other business like my business and I, I just felt like okay like people are used to coming in and out to get their brows done I wanted to set the tone and offer something that not everybody else offers um, not only that I just wanted to like put my stamp on what it is that I do um, and I just felt like really thankful that, you know, the clients that I have, they receive it and they're very, very like, yes, like this is, I, I was, this is literally what she said. She was like, I've been looking forward to this appointment. I, um, I realized, you know, Ever since my initial appointment coming here, she was like, you're very intentional. You put a lot of love and a lot of just you and you have good vibes, good energy, just good everything. And a lot of my clients are like that. They, they just, they, they feel, you know, your energy. And, you know, although this is what I do for a living now, cause I no longer work in the healthcare field as of, the 28th of some month, I forget what month it was that I resigned, but like literally, I wanna, I haven't been a full-time entrepreneur for that long, but anyway, although this is what I now do for a living, like I don't necessarily do it for the financial gain. I do it because it's my passion and I love like making people feel good and just even down to like my goodie bags, like, In this goodie bag, I have a mascara one, I have my QR code thank you card, and then I have a um, rose quartz um, stone that I incorporate. And it's just my way of saying like, you are loved, you are worthy, you are just any type of affirmation that my client needs for the day, that's my way of giving them affirmation. In addition to that, I incorporate customized experiences so i might be giving you a massage or whatever and i will based off of what i feel from that client i'll mix things up and just add a little you know whatever and that's just you know me paying attention to what that client needs i offer so much more than just brows and i think a lot of people initially when they see my treatment menu they're like oh but then when you come in you're like yeah this isn't just brows so i i had to rebrand because i was like brows mm, i'm more than that so that's when i came up with brow spa and i get people that ask me so what is it that you do and i'm just like I offer a brow spa experience, like literally, like I spell it different and that's a part of the aesthetics of um, our branding, as in my partner and I. Brow Spa, Brow Spa Academy, uh, which is soon to come out, it just made me feel like, ugh. Oh. because um, at the end of the day, you know, I feel like it's really important to do what you love. I feel like, you know, when I was younger, I'm 33. When I was younger, I felt like, oh man, I have to work in the medical field in order to be this important, successful, whatever. But at the end of the day, like, I, 
in essence felt like very frustrated with working in that field 13 plus years um, and just not not doing what I wanted to do full time. And so now that I finally have taken a step out on faith and I'm pursuing my dreams, I'm just like, man, like, I wish I would have done this a long time ago. I, I personally feel like whatever it is that you love doing, like as long as you give 100% and you put your soul into it, people will receive it. And I'm just like, wow. Like, at the end of the day, people not going after their dreams, it's because they're scared of being successful, not of not succeeding. Because if it's something that you're passionate about, people are gonna receive it, in my opinion. Um, I just feel very blessed, because I'm like, you know, considering how much I, made in the medical field versus how much I make now, I'm not even operating at optimum in terms of like, six, seven days out of the week, long extensive hours. I work three days out of the week. I decided to stick to my um, operational hours that I had when I first started out because I want to make sure that I maximize on the operational hours that I have. Um, the location in and of itself is now. So we support other entrepreneurs and I wanna make sure that I um, enable other entrepreneurs to utilize the space as well. Um, so that's why I stick to my three days. And in the event that I'm so booked in advance to where like, say for example, I'ma just manifest it. I'm booked a year or two years in advance and I don't have any room to take any new clients, then, then I'll consider expanding my days but I wanna maximize on the operational hours um, and days that I have, period. So yeah, um, I don't know, I'm just very, very happy that, you know, my clients are receiving my intention and they recognize it. Um, and it, it's resonating with them. Like I had a client that asked me like, hey, can you tell me about this product line? Because I don't place emphasis on sales. Cause you know, like when you go to a spa, they're like, oh, well, I, you know, I don't want to be like that. Um, however, I do want to educate my clients on what it is that I offer in the event that they feel, hey, look, I want to buy that or so on and so forth. And yeah. And so I was just answering her question, telling her about, you know, with the um, last treatment that I offer it.
give me my entire life. Oh my gosh. Tell them to stop playing with it. <laughs> hey you guys, I'm here with my favorite, favorite client of all times, Miss Aj. Y'all see these beautiful eyebrows? Y'all get into them. I just realized I was just recording in um, regular post mode. So it's, it's like a, the bottles are like a pink like this, but it's transparent. Minus this um, brow bottle. It has a rose gold top. I feel like the light isn't doing it any justice, but yeah, I gotta get my drift. My little flowers and things, just two. A little cart. I have all my stuff in here. It's all disinfected and ready to go for the next day. Okay, little barber seal wipes here. All of my utensils covered up. There are other utensils down there that are covered up. Supplies. Green thing. Sugaring cart. Gloves. Powder. Sanitizer. More sanitizer. And more snips. Thank you. 